Hello guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the isDigit method in Python. So the isDigit method returns true if all the characters are digits. Now, the method is stronger and includes more characters than the isDecimal method. But on the other hand, it is weaker than isNumeric method. So I'm going to show you what this means shortly. Now, this is how the syntax looks like. The method takes no parameters and will return a Boolean value. More specifically, it will, it will return true if all the characters in string are digits and there is at least one character in the string. It will return false otherwise. Okay, so let's look at examples. Now, the first example, we have a basic string and um, we can see that this is a regular number and or a digit and um, after running the method, it is and it will return true. Now, let's look at these other characters. Now these are all Unicode encoded. That's why they are. Um, that's why they're represented like this. And um, so first of all, let's check if the number three is is digit. And uh, we can see that uh, the number three is actually decimal and digit at the same time. If I would change this to the string three and run this we can see that the g is neither decimal nor digit and this is because the g is uh, a string it has nothing to do with any um, decimal or digit or numeric value and if i change this to string 4 we can see that the exponent and this can be any exponent is is bit is sorry is digit only and it is not a decimal value however if i would change this to string 5 um, we can see that fraction is again neither a decimal nor a digit value and one way how we can check whether a, a string is a is a fraction um, we can use instead of a is digit method we can use a is numeric 